Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I am going to be cleaning my house with just so flora. I absolutely love doing this, it makes the house smell so good and there are so many things that you can clean with this. So I'm going to show you some of them in today's video. All of these cleaning tips have come from the Zoflora website, so if you do have any of your own, please do let me know because I would love to find some new ways to clean with Zoflora. So today I am going to be using my favourite which is mandarin and lime. I've got a microfiber cloth, a spray bottle with some ready-made Zoflora inside and then some kitchen roll and that is all I'm going to be using today. So the first place that I'm starting is my living room and I was actually quite surprised with how many things I can clean in here. So I'm starting off with any glass windows or mirrors and all I'm using here is a spray bottle with diluted disinfectant, a microfiber cloth and then some kitchen roll to buff in at the end and this is the trick that I didn't know because this is where you get your streak free shine. I was honestly so impressed I've actually put my window and glass cleaner product in the bin so I'm no longer going to be using that. I also went over the glass on my fireplace using exactly the same technique and then I also went on to my pebble mirror as well. And I did exactly the same and this is the one that the sun always shines directly on so you can always see the smears but not anymore. Next I'm going to go over my sideboard so Flora's really good for wiping over surfaces so if you have any shelves or little tables in your living room all of these can be wiped over with a microfiber cloth and your spray bottle again like I'm doing here. If you don't want to spray it onto the surface just spray it onto a cloth and you can use it that way. I'm also going to do my coffee table, it says to spray the table, wipe with a cloth and then to ensure full coverage allow a contact time of 5 minutes and then buff with a microfiber cloth. I actually used a kitchen roll but both of these methods work and this was my cloth afterwards. And the next thing I'm going to clean is the remote controls in my living room. Again, you just spray your cloth and give them a good wipe over. I'm also just going to go over my door handles. If you do have brass handles, it says to not use so flora on them. So I thought I would just pop that in there. I'm also just going to shine the glass on my door. And then the last thing that I can do in this room is to do my floors. The recommended use is one capful of Zoflora for every 400 ml of water in a bucket and use to mop over and disinfect hard floors but do not use on polished wood. The next room I'm going into is the study and I'm going to tell you something that might shock you because it shocked me. It says on the website what's dirtier, a desk or a toilet seat. It might surprise you to find out desks can contain 400 times more bacteria according to a study. So. <laughs> I couldn't believe that and to be honest like I know I'll be giving this a wipe over a lot more frequently now than I do. I'm also just going to wipe over the keyboard. These contain so much dust so god knows how many germs they hold so I'm going to wipe that over and the mouse too. And then just like in the living room, I'm going to go over these glass panels and just get them smear free as well. I'm going to give the shelves a little dust over and then I'm going to move on to our little chair area here which is also very dusty. I'm going to wipe down the table 
and also the arms on the chair because these are really dusty as well and I'm also just gonna do the iPad because like the keyboard they get so much germs on them and I don't think these are like something I never clean you know like your phone does anyone else just not clean these things even though they're handled all the time next i'm gonna do the radiator this is such a good hack especially in winter because when you pop the radiator on you can really smell the scent of the sofa in the room which i just love and then I'm just going to do these picture frames again this is something I just never do so I thought I would give those a wipe over and then I'm just going to do the printer which is here in the corner and the table that it is on because this also gets covered in dust and forgotten about. And another place you can clean in the office, if you have one, is a bin. We actually don't have one, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this room with the floor. The next room I'm going to clean is the hallway, I'm just going over the basics again so I'm going to do this mirror, I'll do the glass on my front door, I'll also wipe over this side table but then there are extra things that you can do like light switches, radiators, the door handle, the letterbox, if you have an intercom, security, anything like that it can all be wiped over look at my mirror i had to show you this because it's always so streaky like i said the light shines through and look at it today i'm just so impressed this next hack was a new one for me so i saw on the website you can spray your doormat with the zophora spray so i'm just giving it a good bang outside to give it a clean hoovering under the mat and then i'm going to spray it with the spray bottle and the diluted disinfectant that i've already made up And then I'm just finishing up with my floors and do remember that if you do have any pets keep your doors shut until the floors dry before they're allowed to go back in that room. The next room I'm going into is my downstairs toilet. I would have loved to have shown a whole bathroom clean but I just didn't have time. However you can clean pretty much everywhere in your bathroom. And I love to do this because the moment that toilet seat is left open and someone flushes it, those germs are going everywhere. So yeah, this will do the job to get rid of them. So after I have cleaned everything in that bathroom, I will then do the toilet last. Do you do your toilet first or do you do it last? Because I think I actually used to do my toilet first always. Like, I don't know what my logic was, but now it is that that is the dirtiest place that the cloth will touch last before it goes in the wash. <laughs> And once everywhere is wiped over, I'm then going to put a cap full of Zoflora down the sink. This makes the room smell so good, like later on when you come back, it's the first thing you can smell and I just love that it eliminates any odours. 
I'm also just going to put a cap in my toilet brush holder. I now have a silicone toilet brush and it's honestly a game changer. Like I could never go back to a normal brush because this just feels so clean but does the job at the same time. So I love it and I really recommend it. I'm now going in with another cloth and I know they all look the same because I got this grey pack from B&M <laughs> but this is a new cloth and I'm just doing like all the touch points so like the toilet roll holder, the towel rail and the radiator. I'm going to finish off with a hoover and again a little mop. And then the last room that I'm going to clean in this video is my kitchen. And for this I'm just going to fill up my bowl and add a cap full of Sephora. And then I can use this to clean everywhere. So with the sink you can wipe down the entire area so I'm going to do the drain and board and the tap here and once I've finished this I'm going to go straight on to the worktops. I'm then going to do all of my kitchen cupboards. These are gloss, so I'm using the same technique as I use with the mirrors. I'm wiping it over first with the microfiber cloth, and then I'm going over with some kitchen roll to buff it, because as well I have these silver handles, and they actually just smear so easily. So this method really gets them nice and shiny and streak free. I'm then just going to do my bin, so this has two compartments but I'm just going to do the recycling because I emptied the other side earlier so it doesn't need doing. But I'm just going to take the rubbish out, give it a spray down, wipe everywhere over and then the little insert bit that I pop back in once I've emptied the rubbish, I'm going to wipe that over and then I'm going to fill it with some warm water and put a cap for the Sephora in there because I love to leave that to soak and just get around all the sides and give it a good deep clean. And now that the kitchen is clean, I'm just going to leave my cloth to soak in the water you could ideally leave this overnight and they say on their website to do it every single day so i'm going to try and keep up to that because it does make the room smell lovely when you come down in the morning i'm going to finish off with a hoover and i'm also going to go in with my mop and another place that you can clean within the kitchen but i didn't need to do it today is the fridge so that is my clean for the day done. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I definitely have because my house smelled amazing afterwards. If you would like to see more of these videos, then please do let me know. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you go and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!